Today I have this Freilander Century class. The problem that this Freilander has is that it's leaking clear from the radiator. The radiator is broken somewhere. It is broken from right there. You can see right there, there. That piece it is like destroyed. Something went there and destroyed the, the radiator itself. And, um, and that's the reason why it's leaking a lot of uh, coolant, as you can see. So today I'm going to do something. I want to see if the stop leak works on something like that. I bought these out already, out of parts. These are really conventional stop leaks for the theater. So I had to buy three because you have to read the instructions. In the instruction says then you need one bottle of this for four gallons as you can see there. So um, and we have to leave the engine running for 13 minutes. I mean like 30, 30 minutes, I'm sorry. <laughs> 30 minutes. So pretty much I'm going to drop three of these inside here. And I'm going to see if this so this thing works on a massive failure like that. So I wanna apply this to the radiator right now. All right, so I applied the three, three bottles of um, sealant, of radiator sealant, whatever coolant, leak sealant. Um, so now I'm going to start the engine and see what happens. I mean, like I have to wait uh, the 30 minutes. That's what it says. Wait the 30 minutes and uh, if continue listening, it require mechanical attention. Yeah, of course. But anyway, um, we uh, I want to start the engine right now. The engine is running now. And I just wanna wait the 30 minutes and we'll see what happens after that. Alright, after having the engine running for 30 minutes, the leak is over. There is no longer a leak coming from the radiator. Yeah. It is completely still. So this product actually works and um, yeah, it stopped the leak. There is no longer a leak, which is good. Well, so the problem is solved. That was I mean that the radiator won't be leaking any more coolant in the future. It will be leaking coolant in the future, but for the moment, that problem is fixed. Maybe for one month, two months, something like that. Instead of spending maybe like two two thousand dollars replacing the radiator we fix the problem with twenty dollars and so on uh, maybe like two three hours of labor maybe it's like two hundred bucks three hundred bucks in total so it actually works so now with this video you know that the stop leak actually works especially this one the bars leak actually works so if your radiator is leaking you have to add three of these for a truck for a heavy duty truck like this one cascadias kw's or anything but if you have a small car one will be enough don't add more than one to a small car because you're gonna actually destroy something so this is on three you need only for trucks or for heavy duty systems that require more than that but you actually can read the instructions and calculate the amount of coolant that is in your system and based on that, you can use that. So, this concludes the video. And uh, luckily, this radiator is fixed for the moment. If you have any questions about this video, you can use the comment section below to leave questions opinions recommendations what do you think about these specific additives to seal leaks on the coolant system and uh, if you want to send support to my channel you can use the description section below where i have details how to send support to my channel so i can continue making helpful videos for everybody so like share subscribe and thank you for watching